Hi everybody, Robert Jones back with you again today doing some more taste test. And we're doing an afternoon snacks right now. We've got um, some Korean chip snacks. So I'm kind of excited to show you guys something a little bit different. Uh, these are from Korea. And we have the crab chips, sorry, crab chips on this side. And we've got the sesame cracker sticks over here. No, over here. I'm not getting this right at all. Anyway, all right. So let's get started here. So let's go from the the savory to the sweet. So so the savory side, uh, we have the crab chips, the jetsons de crabe. I don't know if my French is very good right now, but the crab chips from Paldo. Um, let's tell you what is in here. It's just actually in English on the back. It says wheat starch, wheat flour, palm oil, crab seasoning, crab extract, maltodextrin, crab flavor, crab extract, Yes, it says that just like that, over and over. Um, dried shrimp, sugar, kelp powder, salt, and asfume potassium. Not quite sure that what that is. Anyway, um, these are from Seoul. I'd like to see, there's the information from Seoul. Uh, what else to tell you guys about these? This is 1.76 ounces or 50 grams. And it has 260 calories. It is one package is the serving. Does it have any protein? It has one gram of protein, I guess, from the shellfish. And that's about all it says. Manufactured in a facility with eggs, milk, wheat, soybean, shrimp. All right, let's just get to it. All right, so I'm going to get my little scissors here. Scissors. And I'm going to cut the top off nice. Now, if you guys didn't know, when I put these on my blog, I try to preserve the packaging and scan them so you guys can take a look at that. It doesn't smell very much. Anyway, as I was saying, I was trying to preserve the packaging. I tried to scan it and put it on the website so you guys can see the full thing. And um, I don't know. If you guys had these? Let me know. So, top off. It doesn't have... It doesn't have... Oh, wait. There it is. Gotta get my nose really. Okay, it smells like um at the ocean at the crab boil. Big pot of crabs on. It it does smell like crab. That's kind of exciting. Okay, here's what they look like. Um, they look like they're I don't know different sizes. I'll just pick a fairly medium sized one here. It's kind of you can see that. All right. Mmm, that's pretty good. I want to say seven already, just just like that. I would totally eat these again. They've got a crunchy taste. They're light and fluffy. Um, they're crunchy and fluffy. Let's see if you guys can hear that. They're crunchy. Um, at first, you just kind of get the wheat flavor. They're very subtle. Then you get kind of a sweetness after that. And you just get a wisp of crab. Just or. Shellfish. I don't know if I'd say it's crab flavor, but it's definitely um something seafoody, and it's good. I would totally eat these again. I love the little thing here. It says, "Can you see that?" There we go. It says, "Fun and yum flavored." Yeah, these are good. Okay, one more. Mmm, and there's a lot in here. I feel like there's a snack you get your money's worth. So, um, I think these things were about a buck twenty nine. I don't see a price on them. So, there you go, crab snacks. All right, and next, this one's a little bit heavier. I think it's probably because it's got sugar in it. So, this one is called the sesame cracker sticks, the batonnet de craquillon sesame. I don't know. I, my French is horrible. Um, best before two thousand sixteen, January seven. And this is interesting. It says contains 3% honey. So that's very interesting. Okay, so this is 70 grams. It's a little bit bigger. And 2.47 ounces. And ingredients includes wheat flour. All you gluteys, I'm sorry. Can't do it. Palm oil, sugar, potato starch, corn syrup, rice powder, corn starch, honey, sesame rice syrup, Salt, 
fruit. Oh, well, this is a long one. Fruto logistic saccharide, fruto logistic saccharide, and kelp powder. So that is an interesting um, thing. And again, this one is by Paldo. Paldo. Over there, Paldo, and it is a product of Seoul, Korea. So, oh, and then they also have an advertisement down here for the crab and shrimp ones. Interesting. The other one didn't have that. All right, let's cut this sucker open. Let's see what we got here. It's funny because the first thing I think when I see this is the side of it with all these dots. I think cow. I don't know why. Um, not honeybee. There's only one tiny little honeybee. Okay. What's the smell? I just tried to get my first impression. And it smells like Asian snacks. It doesn't really have a particular smell to it. But it is kind of funny because I'm going to squish these up so you guys can see them. They look like french fries. You guys see that? There you go. They look like french fries with, um, with seaweed and sesame seeds on them. More on that side. All right. Try it. A little bit rougher consistency than the last ones. Um, the crab ones are a little crunchier on the outside. I'm I'm getting wheat. I'm getting sweet. I'm not getting honey. I don't I don't taste honey, which I think is interesting because it's such a big part of the packaging. I definitely taste something seaweedy. It has the kelp bits on there. Um, I'm trying to think of something local that this compares to. This is very much a cracker. It's crunchy. It's very hard. See if I can. It's good. I would actually say that the crab ones are a little bit better. So, in conclusion, We have the sesame, the sesame snacks, which I would totally eat again, but I don't know if I would buy them because they're not really like, oh, those are great. They're good. They're about a six, seven. These are more like a seven, eight. Um, I just, I guess I just like the crabby smell. So there you go, you guys. Have you ever had these? Tell me, um, what do you think? Try them. Can you get them? All right, you guys. Do you have something else you'd like me to try? Send it to me. My address is down below. I would love to try something from your country. And um, I can only get a hold of so many things here to try for you guys. But if there's something you'd like me to try for you, I would love to do that. I'd love to rate it. And I just like to taste the whole world and see what's out there. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I'm trying to get the ratings up a little bit. And I'm at almost 900 subscribers. And I am so excited by that, that so many of you are wanting to watch this. Spread the word. Let's get bigger. If I get to a thousand, I get to go to a different plateau with YouTube and I get different things available to me. So I'm trying to get to a thousand quickly just so I can get more stuff available and to share with you. Anyway. All right, you guys. I hope you guys try these uh, Korean snacks and let me know what you think. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.